Hi everyone, Lacey here with Twin Flames Heart's Desire. And today, November 30th, 2020, is a lunar eclipse. Um, and lunar eclipses occur every time that the Earth's shadow passes between the sun and the moon when it's full. Um, it happens about um, twice a year, um, same as a solar eclipse. And lunar eclipses are more commonly seen because the shadow that the Earth casts is larger than the shadow that the moon casts when it passes in front of the sun for a solar eclipse. An eclipse means that um, something is going in front of something else. My hand just eclipsed my face, for example. So that's um, the uh, astronomy part of what is a lunar eclipse. It's not a weird, odd phenomenon, but it is special. It's symbolic for us. Um, and I've got some cards that I'm going to be reading for you. I've got the Moonology deck, of course, um, that I'm going to be pairing along with the Psychic Tarot deck by John Holland. So um, these two decks, um, we're going to be working together to give you an energy reading for um, this special symbolic time. And you can use this uh, eclipse to um, assist your journey or to make commitments to yourself and to um, really choose to see it as an energy that uh, can support you and guide you in moving forward, right? If you don't see this video until later, doesn't matter. It's still timeless. It's the energy of the eclipse that is coming through this message whenever you watch it. So um, one other thing is that it's Cyber Monday. Woohoo! And so all of my readings are 50% off until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's New York City time. Um, so all of my readings are 50% off. Until that time, I've got several different um, readings involving three cards for your union energy, your abundance, um, <clears throat> your body, your health. And then I've got a nine card uh, Twin Flame Union Energy reading an angel reading, and then I've got a 22 card complete union reading. These are all recorded and uploaded onto YouTube. The 22 card reading is my largest reading um, where I pull 22 cards um, from over 30 decks that I have. Um, so you get lots of variants there. So speaking of readings, let's get started. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards. We're going to just see as I shuffle and I feel like I should stop now. I'm going to look at the card on the bottom after I've stopped. This is the energy that we have, um, that we're facing or about to transcend. And it says, nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. And this, um, this card is really talking about like a situation that you've been kind of banging your head against the wall, like trying to fix through your own devices or, or through taking action on your own um, that could be with your twin flame like trying to fix it on the outside trying to call or connect or not call like maybe you've tried the strategy of trying to get them to chase you through not calling and these are all manipulative tactics and i don't mean that in a mean way um, i mean that um, if you look at the word manipulate it it's the root of the word is with your hand like you're trying to take matters into your own hands and that's not how you succeed um, or find harmony on the Twin Flame journey. Um, but those of us who are new to the path um, might be uh, experiencing some um, episodes where you try to reach outside of yourself and try to wrangle the external reality, and that, that never works. Why? Because you and your Twin Flame are one at the core, which means in your heart, Meaning it's, it is really like the analogy of a bird with two wings. You're one of the wings and they're the other, but there's a core, there's a central core where um, you can access this through using something called the mirror exercise to feel your feelings and heal the place at the core where you're out of alignment with love. All these maybe misbeliefs you have about yourself, a misbelief that you're unworthy of love or that, um, you know, you're unlovable. Um, all of these core beliefs that you have when you start to heal them um, inside, this is what restores your union. And there's that process with the mirror exercise that's taught in Twin Flame Ascension School, together with a download of information, a 
highly refined spiritual download in each and every class of Twin Flame Ascension School from Twin Flame Gurus and Masters Jeff and Shalia. Um, if you haven't checked that out, you can go to the link that I've got in my description box below and check that out. So don't keep trying to bang your head up against whatever situation is facing you um, because that won't work. It's just leaking your energy into that upset. Push the card closer. Okay. Next card I'm going to be pulling from the Psychic Tarot deck. And we're going to look at the top card. We've got light. And this is really interesting. As I mentioned, the mirror exercise just a minute ago, it's a four step exercise that you write down. And um, it's actually in this book that I've got handy here Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. I've got a link in the description box under this video as well. It's on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. If you do a free trial of Kindle, you get the book for free. Um, and it's also available on audiobook if you'd like to listen to it. But chapter five is all about the mirror exercise. And in the mirror exercise, you bring yourself love. You bring yourself, you bring light to these places within you that I mentioned um, are, you know, not aligned with love. You bring love there. You bring the truth there. You reassure yourself in those places. It's like going to heal your inner child. And this light feeling um, compared to what you're going through or what you've been going through with your twin flame on your journey, um, this is where uh, you're invited to really go within and heal and bring light to these places. And there is a process to do that. Many of you have heard, you know, you need to love the twin flame journey is about self-love and it is, but not that many people know how to love yourself. You can think about it. You can conceptualize it like, oh, I know how to love myself. I love my, sure I do. But what this work is requiring you to do, what your twin flame is doing by triggering you is pushing up all of those places in your subconscious that are being illumined so that you can go to those places and heal them. When we don't have triggers, when we, or we avoid them or we numb out, we're actually missing out on a healing opportunity that will actually, in fact, bring us more love and more, more light. So let's go to our next cards. This is going to be um, the energy. What energy are we moving into? What can we reach if we choose to heal what is being shown to us? So it's a new vortex coming in with this full moon eclipse and well, these cards are very smooth today smooth shuffling well that's nice <laughs> these cancer the full moon and cancer a personal issue reaches resolution well i don't think i need to say that much more about this card except that you're only going to get there by doing the inner work. Um, there are over 30 couples that have attained harmonious Twin Flame Union following the inner work that Jeff and Julia teach in Twin Flame Ascension School, the mirror exercise, committing all the way, getting your support, working with a coach, joining the school, getting that spiritual download um, several times a week or maybe even daily watching a class. They're pre-recorded so you can watch whenever you want. You also get a weekly discussion group of other twin flames who are going through what you're going through. You may have noticed that people not on their twin flame journey think that you might be a little woo-woo woo, woo, woo talking about synchronicities and signs. And um, it appears on the outside that you're just, you know, pining away after someone who's not so nice to you. That's um, a lot of the case uh, for those of you who are in separation and know who your twin flame is. There's been some sort of um, misalignment within your union, but you can heal that, get to this place, the personal issue reaches a resolution by healing it with the mirror exercise, dedicating yourself to this work. This is an ascension path. Your twin flame journey is an ascension path. That means this is not like small potatoes, right? Like this, is, this work is the real deal. This, this work, this inner work um, that I'm a part of, that um, the school teaches, that Jeff and Julia teach is the real deal and you you do attain 
um, harmonious union with your twin flame as a result of the work, but so much more. You're actually um, starting a relationship with the divine, a real one, right? Maybe you've been hurt by the word God. Maybe um, you've been projecting things onto God, or maybe you don't really know God. You got a couple cards fall. Hang on, let me get them for you. Okay. Yeah, so there's <laughs> that. There were a lot. There were like six cards. Usually when it's like two or three, I'll show them to you. But that's what that indicated to me is there's like an upset in consciousness with the word God. And we had one pop out. Ah, this is perfect. Okay. So remember, you've got to heal to get to this point. And here's this card here is a result of your healing material harvest. It's not just about food and wealth. It's, it's about feeling like you have abundance, right? That feeling that you're full of love, money, love, food, all these, these riches and abundant places are not separate, right? So um, what I'm getting from this card also is that as, as I was talking, we were talking about having an upset or um, feeling upset at the divine, at, at the creator, at God. And you may feel, I'm picking up on like, you may feel that um, God isn't giving you love or God doesn't love you or God's not giving you what you've asked for, be that abundance, even your twin flame, love, all these things, what you're believing in your heart is that um, there's like this kind of withholding energy that you're, you're believing that the divine doesn't want to give these things to you. Um, and that's not true. It's the belief that you don't, that you're not worthy or that for some reason you're being overlooked or the divine isn't giving um, you what you desire. It's that belief that you don't deserve that, that is actually repelling it and pushing it away. That's the law of attraction right there. So, um, you know, those are the resulting, these two are what, what you get when you choose to heal and you can get there. There's a, there's a, um, a definite path to getting there as I was talking about it. Um, and you can choose to take that path and get support and let it be easy. I know I did because it, it became easy. I don't, I don't want to, you know, spin my wheels and suffer in a corner. I, I'd rather have the support. So we want one last message from this um, eclipse reading for you. I just really like these monology cards, especially today. Um, they're just so easy to shuffle. Yeah, they really are very loving. Great. Okay, so we've got emotions are running high. Um, you've probably been experiencing that for a while, and there's like this huge supermoon here um, in your face on this card, <laughs> right? And and what this just says is, um, while you may be feeling like kind of emotional about things going on on your twin flame journey, it is safe to surrender into divine love. It is safe to let God hold you and nurture you and just um, help you ride the wave. And let's pull another one just right off the top of the Psychic Tarot deck. Ooh, very nice. Triumphant success. So this card um, paired with the emotions are running high card. It's your emotions are running high because your, your heart knows that there's a truth out there um, that you and your twin flame are meant to be together. And if you follow the guidance in this video, all of it, not even just the cards, but the things that I'm, I'm sharing with you, if you follow that guidance um, and you start to choose to ground and um, take that path that I've presented to you, you will be successful. You're, you're going to be successful. How, how much better can you get, <laughs> right? Like that you will be successful in your twin flame journey. And I, I want to reiterate that the journey isn't just about attaining your twin flame and harmonious union and getting married and living one life together. It's building a life together with the divine, living your true life purpose together. And it's growing closer to the divine. This path leads you to enlightenment, self-realization. These are what um, yogis go on to, to meditate on mountains to attain. You can attain this through the twin flame path and your heart knows that because you're experiencing tremendous spiritual upheaval right now. This is what the emotions card, this card is all about. 
you're experiencing that spiritual upheaval, but it doesn't have to be like a roller coaster. It doesn't have to be this huge experience. Um, you can really um, fortify yourself with support from other people who are just as spiritual as you, just like you going through this experience who have been in the dark. Maybe you're feeling like you're in the dark. Um, and another thing about the eclipse itself is it represents uh, an object going in front of a light. Um, this, the moon itself doesn't produce its own light. It's given its light from the sun, but it's still a light source in the sky, right? Like it's a place where it emanates light. And sometimes our beliefs um, can um, obstruct the truth or the light. That's, again, as I'm going back to this card that we got earlier in the reading. Um, and, and this is why you're feeling a little bit intense right now. And that's okay. But choose the path that can bring you that ever abiding peace and clarity about what you're going through and help you to resolve those challenges that you're facing on your twin flame journey. I'm a master certified Ascension coach trained um, with over two years of experience in Twin Flames universe, um, a thousand hours of training and um, hundreds of hours of actual experience working with Twin Flames. Um, no matter what, what phase or what stage you believe you're in, um, I can help you and I can, I do that with the mirror exercise and I can help you see things you can't see um, about your union that can help you to uh, just move forward and claim all the love and abundance that you deserve. So take advantage of the things that I mentioned, look in the description box for those links, choose to claim your union and move forward um, instead of like agonizing um, in, you know, separation consciousness without the support. You do deserve support and allow for the divine to provide for you so that you can claim full support because this journey can't be done alone. I do not know anybody who's ever actually succeeded with their true twin flame <laughs> without support. So even my spiritual teachers had their own spiritual teacher. They had support as well. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, and I, I want to mention again, don't forget to claim your reading and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.